Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. Today, we'll see one of the more dangerous passing offenses. The Giants are top 10 in passing TDs, and they'll go against the Cowboys, who are very aware of what they'll be dealing with. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. Two teams try to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. On play action, it's Manning. And this is incomplete. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Shotgun now for Manning. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Justin Duran in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. Getting into the act on the opening drive here with a sack. And remember, they had five last week. And they saw that on film, and that meant that they had to get together. Offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, offensive line coach, receivers coach, and say, how do we beat this pressure? Because everyone has to win against the defense and get the ball to the hands of the quarterback very quickly. Slips past him. Where'd he go? Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. They go play action here on first down, eluding the pressure right. Finds a seam inside the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. And shoves him off at the 20. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Prescott to throw it. Flushed out right. Able to power through. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. As we saw in his rookie year, Dak not afraid to run with it. And he did there to pick up the first. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drop. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. 
They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of it. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Steven Paya in there to bring him down, and that is sack number 17 for him now on the year. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer. Here's Brad Wing now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, an update from there. And the Redskins there out to an early lead. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. First down, Prescott. Flush to his right. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. A first down throw for Prescott. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space, kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Seven yards to go on second down. Prescott from the gun. And he's got room. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. On third down, McFadden. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Darren McFadden with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. 
This will be taken in at the one. And he spins through. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Coming up later tonight, a reminder, one of the best rivalries going. We'll have the Ravens and Steelers for you at 8.30 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night, another divisional matchup. This time it's the Pats heading down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Nice two for there. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target. And now it's second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Manning. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Tyrone Crawford in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Cowboys. Terrence Williams with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Bailey now to kick this one away. The return man here, Dwayne Harris. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're gonna get all these points back on one drive, you're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. They'll run again with Marine. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. We have hit halftime. And never mind, Larry. These two teams apparently anxious to get back at it. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. A beautiful fake. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Now, those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. Completes it to Jason Witten. And he'll go down at the 28. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. A very solid gain of 27. 
That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Cole Beasley, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Bailey now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25. Here's the Giants' offense now getting set to start the third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Here's Manning to throw, and he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Sean Lee in there to drop him for a loss of 10, and it'll be fourth and long. That's number four, sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie, and that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They start on the ground with Elliott. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special runs in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. Elliott a first down and more. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown. Cowboys Ezekiel Elliott 64 yards and the Cowboys continue to pour it on and he's been a busy man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead Bailey now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. They stick on the ground. Again, it's Marine. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up... Working from the gun, Manning. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Here's Brad Wing now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far.
This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They go to Elliott again. And some room to maneuver. Dancing away at the 30. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That good for 19 and a first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. Double tight, guys, double tight. Now a play fake here on first down. Going right side, he has Witten. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Prescott on first down. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him go like total at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, Quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tough rule that they can fall back on anymore. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Throwing here, Prescott. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. Bailey now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Giants offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? And Vereen, sure-handed as he is, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here, and now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Watch the backfield. Here we go. Yeah, 
to throw is Prescott. They'll roll him out right. Stays on his feet, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Bailey now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. On the NFL scoreboard there in the fourth now in Carson. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Phillip Rivers, two touchdown passes to lead the way. Manning now on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Shane Vereen, the intended receiver there. That'll bring up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Now, remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And New York set to take the field. They are down big. They have not scored a single point. I don't know, are they so defeated at this point you just want to get in the locker room and get the heck out of here? That is one way to approach it. Sometimes coach say, that's it, okay? It hasn't worked all year. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. One final try now for Manning. And he's got his rookie first rounder. It's Evan Ingram. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's 